Hey guys, so back after a short while and today I've got Amazon's Echo Pop, they're calling this one. So they've had a bunch of names for the speakers, Flex, Tap, Dot, Look, Spot, Show, but this one is now Pop. So if we just get straight into the unboxing, and if you want to check this out, I've linked it in the description. It's $44.99 here in the UK, but let's just peel this tab straight open and get into this lift that lid so we have the speaker sitting here on top and I've got this in the midnight teal color so we just have a quick look at what it looks like put that to the side what else do we have here some little cardboard insert which here was sitting on top we've got the power cable and then I can see just a little booklet instructions on how to set it up and then just your normal terms and conditions, I guess. So to start off with the design and build, this speaker is, as you can see, like a whole, I don't know, dot cut in half. We've got the buttons here on the top, so volume up, volume down. And we also have the microphone off and on button. And I have to say, it's quite lightweight, feels good in the hand. Um, it's made from aluminium. And we can see that it's uh, fabrics made from post-consumer recycled yarn. Aluminium made from 80% recycled aluminium. We've got the light bar on the top there. I mean, it looks alright. This one doesn't have humidity or temperature sensors, so that's obviously a negative on that part. We can see the three holes for the microphones and then the insert for the power cable. So here's the microphone button on the side and the volume buttons here and I just thought I'd do a quick size comparison so this is like just a normal sized Apple here's a PS4 controller just so you get an idea of what you're dealing with and this iPhone 8 so it's fairly compact size I have to say so if we just jump straight into the setup I mean it's going to be similar to every other Amazon Echo device just head straight into the app we just want to go to devices add a new one and we pick amazon echo so we just go through the settings make sure that it's flashing orange searches for it finds it connects it to your wi-fi takes a few seconds that's it once it's connected just tells you a little about it to snooze it you can tap it on the top if you want to snooze alarms and then we just pick the language. It's gonna be in the dining room. Set up voice ID, that's fine, I'll consent to that. Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Alexa, play music. Alexa, turn off the light. Alexa, add milk to my shopping list. So that's voice ID created. So let's just call this home address. And now we're set up. Hey there, it's lovely to meet you. Let's get you started with four things to try. You can say stop at any time. Let's get started. To talk to me, just say my name and ask me a question. So let's just get into sound quality. I'm just going to play different types of I don't know, music, spoken words. It has a 49.5 millimeter front firing speaker. Just have a quick look around the phone itself. Dolby Atmos printed on the top. Speaker and charging port at the bottom. We just boot it up. There's the Hello Moto logo. So I'm going to set this up. And then we'll get into the review.
Alexa, what's the weather like in New York? In New York, United States, it's 24 degrees Celsius with mostly cloudy skies. Today, you can expect intermittent clouds with a Alexa, high of 24... So we can see in the decibel meter range, we got a max of 98.9 and I was holding it right next to it. So in conclusion, I have to say, I mean, the sound quality from the speaker is good. It's loud. I know they advertise it as it being only for smaller rooms, but for the living room, dining room, whatever you want to call it, it was enough to fill this room when I had it on full volume. I didn't notice any distortion, maybe a tiny bit if you're playing a track with like heavier bass. But for me, it was plenty loud. Um, the lows were fine, highs were fine. Obviously, you can get better, much better speakers, but for this price point, $44.99, it wasn't too bad. I know the Amazon Echo Dot, which has a 360 speaker and would be more filling, probably seems like a better proposition, but then you're getting this for £10 less and whether you think that's worth £10 more. And if you want the humidity and temperature sensors, which are very beneficial, then yeah, maybe if you spent that extra £10 and they're always on sale, so it's best to keep an eye on Amazon. But overall, I think this speaker for the price isn't too bad. I would recommend getting one if you just want an additional speaker, say in the kitchen, that will just get the job done with Alexa voice commands, things like that. But for something at this price, simple, straightforward, and the color options are nice. Thank you for watching guys and as always if you enjoyed the video hit the like button if you're not subscribed hit the sub button and i'll catch you guys in the next one take care